If you waste time reformatting text and haven't had time to learn Power Query yet, then you're going to love Excel's Flash Fill tool. It enables you to split, reformat, and combine columns of text with an easy keyboard shortcut. I know it sounds too good to be true, so let me show you. And at the end of the video, I'll share a link where you can read the story of how Flash Fill came about as a result of a serendipitous meeting between a senior researcher at Microsoft and a businesswoman on a flight. Let's say you have a list of names separated into columns. Some have middle initials, some have incorrect capitalization. The point is they're not consistently formatted. Not to worry, I'll give Flash Fill a couple of examples and leave it to do the rest. So you can see here it's detected the pattern, but it hasn't got the capitalization correct for Philip's name. So let's keep going and then we'll give it one more. And now it knows what to do. So I'm just going to press enter to accept the suggestion. You can see the flash fill icon has popped up. And if I click on it, I can undo the flash fill, accept the suggestions, which I've already done. I can also select all five change cells. Those are the cells that flash fill completed for me. And if I'm not happy with them, then I can edit them here. I'm sure you'll agree it's amazing, but let's give it a harder challenge. This list was actually sent in by one of our members who had spent some time writing complex formulas to handle most of it, but Flash Fill does it in a cinch. You'll notice here some names have spaces between the first and last and others are hyphenated. So all we need to do is give Flash Fill all four permutations and it will complete the rest. It's detected a pattern, but again, we haven't shown it how to handle the hyphenated names. So I'll keep going. That should be enough. Let's control E, which is the shortcut to trigger flash fill. It didn't get that one right, so let's fix it. And notice it fixed the incorrect format for Donna Smith Robbins as well. You can also reformat numbers and text by adding a character to the string. For example, if we want the phone number to be 123-456-789, I can enter it and then control E and Flash Fill has recognized the pattern and completed the rest. And if your data isn't consistent, then all you need to do is complete examples for each permutation. So here, for example, I want one, two, three, and then capital ABC. This isn't consistent. So let's also complete this one and then control E and it completes the rest. Notice they don't even have to be consecutive examples in your list. It's easy to create a list of email addresses from a list of names, even if the first and last names are in different columns. So for example, our email address format is firstname.lastname at acme.com. Enter the first one, control E, and Excel completes the rest. It can also split data into multiple columns. So here I'm going to give it the first name first and then control E, it easily detects all the first names. And then let's give it the last name. Now I'm going to also give it this one because this is a different format to the others. If I could spell it would be better. Let's control E and see how it goes. Perfect. You can easily convert text to dates, although you need to enter the first date or two and format the cells as a date for it to work. So in this example, it's 15th of January, 2015. I'm in Australia, so we do day, month, year, and then control E to complete the rest. Now flash fill should be turned on by default, but you can check on the file tab, options, and then under advanced, down here we have automatically flash fill. Obviously you can turn it off here, but it'd be crazy to do that. So I'm leaving it on. Now it should automatically start filling your data when it detects a pattern as you've seen, but if it doesn't, you can start it manually via the data tab of the ribbon. And then over here, we've got flash fill. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut control E. To use flash fill, you need to be in the column adjacent to the column or columns containing your original data. If you can format your headers different to your data, it will help Excel know that the top row is a header and it won't use that in determining the pattern. And this will help it trigger automatically. You just need to give Flash Fill an example of the final result you want for every permutation of your data, and that will help it accurately determine the pattern. 
Just beware, sometimes it gets the pattern wrong or other times it will leave them blank, as you can see here. If it leaves them blank, you can just go and add an example in one of the blank cells. And notice it's detected that I'm entering data and as I press enter, it now knows how to complete the rest. If it makes a mistake, as you can see here, I've got this one and this one aren't correct. You can just go ahead and fix it. Just fix one of them and it will fix the rest. As I said at the beginning, the story of Flash Fill is the result of a meeting between a senior researcher at Microsoft and a businesswoman on a flight. You can read the story at the link in the video description and learn more about how it was developed. I hope you'll find the Flash Fill tool useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here and give it a go yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.